The first step in 61850 configuration for the UR through the NOV Setup program is to load two offline settings files. After that, open the server configuration window in both offline files. Here, we must rename the IED name and enable server scanning. The purpose of this is that each relay must have a unique name for the Goose configura Configurator application to work. Step 2 in 61850 configuration for the UR through the NRV Suceta program is to create a new offline Goose site. The next step is to configure the Goose site for both UR relays. To do that, drag each offline file onto the Goose site. Now, open the simplified Goose configurator. Next, in the Fixed Goose tab, open the bold IEC 61850 tab at the bottom of the list. We must now rename the Goose ID and select values for VLAN Priority, VLAN ID, and E-Type App ID. This must be done for both relays. For step 5, in the Fast Configuration Goose tab, we must configure the IEC 61850 tab again. Additionally, we must select values to be used in 61850 communication between both relays. Note that only high priority digital signals should be placed in fast configuration goose 1 and 2. Slow configuration goose is used for low priority digital and analog signals. For fast configuration goose 1 and 2, we will use the contact inputs under the digital tab.
For step six, in the slow configuration goose tab, we must follow the same steps as described previously. For the analog signals, we will use source 1 voltages and source 1 currents under analog. For step 7, add a site and two new devices to the online screen using the Ethernet connections. Make sure the two connections have different IP addresses that match the IP addresses of the relays. Now, upload the settings files to both relays. Then, manually reboot both relays. Now, for the final step, we must validate that both relays are communicating via 61850. Open the remote device status window for each relay. The first three remote devices should be green and read online. Now, open the remote inputs window for Relay 1 and turn on the remote inputs of Relay 2. The first four remote inputs should be read and now read on. Check Relay 2 by following the same procedure.
Once again, the first four remote inputs should be read and now read on. This validates 61850 communication.